Grayson got mail in the mailbox today. I think we might What does it say? Welcome. Welcome? <gasps> what is it? The night before school is so exciting. You're always in the night before your clothes are ready, your backpack is too. Your classroom is full of fun things you want to. Lots of questions go through your mind. All types of thoughts are very kind. But sometimes we all get the gist of deep and that makes it hard to fall asleep. So I made this and so I made this magic confidence for you. For promises for the whole year through. The night before school when you lay down your head, just bring to some under and your pillow and bed. The, the confidence will help you sleep all night and wake up in the morning fresh and bright. I sprinkle the confetti under my pillow too because I'm super too excited to see you too. Sweet dreams, Miss Herbert. <gasps> wow, so what did she give you? This. <gasps> what is that? That shines. It's confetti. What are you supposed to put on? Where are you supposed to put it? Place down here. It says the night before school, so tonight you have to sprinkle some under your pillow. And it'll help you sleep all night and help you wake up excited in the morning. And your teacher is going to sprinkle confetti under her pillow, too. Whoa. Don't open it yet. We have to wait till tonight. What's tonight mean? Like when you go to bed tonight. We'll sprinkle it under your pillow. What's sprinkle mean? It means we'll put it under your pillow. Oh and we got to place a stamp here. Well, no, we don't need a stamp there. Because she already, it's already stamped. And look what I also got. Yeah, we got a new magazine. The boys love these highlights magazine. You get um, once a month. Anthony's grandparents get them for the kids and they love them. Whoa. Grayson, where are we going today? My t-shirt. <gasps> Today is Grayson's Meet the Teacher. Please, Mom, can I have some yoga? Okay. Have Good it. morning, you guys. Oh my gosh, wasn't that so cute? His teacher sent this. It's uh, super cute. Gave them confetti and it's supposed to help them sleep. And that's like super cute. He got mail from his preschool teachers the last two years. I thought maybe it would stop, but I guess kindergarten is special too, so he got mail from his kindergarten teacher. And a new magazine! And we got a new magazine in the mail. And speaking of his kindergarten teacher, he is gonna meet her in about an hour. We're gonna go and see his classroom. We were waiting for them to release like who his teacher was because there's two different kindergarten teachers at his school. And so he got the teacher that he got. And we are gonna go and check out her classroom and meet her. He said he already met her once during the kindergarten screening when we went and did that um, about a month ago. He is so excited. Every morning this week, I woke him up in the morning and he tell and he asks me how many more days till the first day of school. So tomorrow is Grayson's first day of kindergarten. So they meet the teacher today and then they start tomorrow. He only has school one day this week. They kind of do like a slow transition for kindergartners. Half of them go on Thursday, half of them go on Friday, and then they all together start up on Monday. So Grayson gets to go on Thursday and then he has Friday off and then he'll start up on Monday. So he is so excited, so pumped for kindergarten. He's so ready for it. He's probably gonna be one of the smartest ones there and probably one of the most talkative ones. I hope she can handle his million questions because I can barely handle that. He is so pumped. So we have that. We're gonna go to his school and check it out. I have a meeting at work right before, so I have to do that pretty soon. And then after I get back from his meet the teacher, I'm actually gonna take Avery to her helmet consultation appointment. We're gonna go and see if Avery needs a helmet for her head shape. 
Um, I guess they do like a 3D scan of her head. They said it's no x-rays or radiation or anything like that. It's just like all technology. And then they'll be able to like from that 3D image show on a big screen and see if she needs it. I did ask them if she does need a helmet, like how long would she have to wear it for? And they said um, usually it's about two to three months. So we'll see. I have a feeling she's probably going to need it, but they did say that the consultation is free. I don't know how much a helmet is going to be. I'm hoping our insurance will cover a lot of it. So I guess we'll find out more information today, but I'll record what I can. So kind of a busy day today. And then of course the first day of school is tomorrow. So I'm like getting the letter board ready for first day of school pictures tomorrow. We've got, we've already filled out his little um board to show his like likes and dislikes i got this off of etsy it just kind of shows all of his stuff just like different things about grayson and the date he still wants to be a gardener when he grows up so that has not changed so we've got all that ready so that i can do pictures in the morning because tomorrow morning is just going to be chaotic and he does have a bus that will take him and drop him off but I think I'm gonna take him on the first day my mom's gonna come and watch the other two kids so I can take him because I feel like I should take him the first day like it's the first day at the elementary school like I should take him he wants to ride the bus but I'll let him ride the bus home yeah the bus every day comes and picks him up at 8 50 in the morning and then drops him off at 12 15 so just half days for kindergarten and then starting next year in first grade he will go all day I can't even think about first grade that's like crazy talk to me so anyway, trying to get the boys to eat and then I have to kick them downstairs to the basement while I do this meeting. I had to push it up because we have to meet the teacher. Anyway, busy, busy, busy. Wow. We made it to Grayson's classroom. What's the red ones? We got a big... What's the red ones? What's the red ones? Yes. Remember, what are those? A-E-I-O-U. What's that? What are those called? Those called not consonants. What are they? Starts with a V. what? Vowels. Vowels. Remember A E I O U. Look. And sometimes Y. E. I. O. U. Red. Okay, we are at the head appointment. We just got pictures. We were 10 minutes late. I was rushing around, but we got the pictures, so now we gotta wait for the camera for the pictures to develop, huh? Let's see what's going on with her head. So this is what the helmet would look like. Go. This is the front. This is the back. They're recommending that she get one. They said she's severe. So this is gonna go on her head. Let that journey begin. Hey guys, so we are back home. Oh my gosh, this afternoon was so crazy. I knew it was gonna be too. So first we went to Grayson's kindergarten meet the teacher, which I took a couple clips, which I already put in here. Grayson had so much fun, loved his classroom, loved the little rug, had all different colors of the rainbow, all the letters on it. He had to do like a little scavenger hunt. It's just like preschool. Preschool, we did the same thing. He had to find the calendar, where he hangs his backpack. He had to find where the books are, where the restroom is, the drinking fountain. So he had fun with that. We went all over the classroom to find all those things. And then his teacher gave me a folder that had lots of back to school information. He already has homework. Um, his first homework, he has to share a picture of his family. So I need to go and print off a picture of all of us. And then he also has to like fill out this shirt, which is all about him, when his birthday is, what he likes, his favorite food, and then a picture of him. So I again, need another picture. And then just like important dates um, and different things like that. We met his teacher. She's super nice. <laughs> she asked him, 
do you have any questions for me about kindergarten? And he said, yes, which last time he said, oh, good job. Last time he said, yes, he asked about um, how, how do people fart? So I was hoping this question would be a little better. And it was uh, his question, which his question really didn't make sense. His question was, how do we learn to read? which he already knows how to read. And so of course she was like, oh, we're gonna, we'll evaluate you and see where you are. And then we'll tell you which books to read and you know, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, he already knows how to read. I don't know why he asked that question, but anyway, super nice. Love the classroom. We actually met a couple kids that he recognized. There's a kid from his preschool class in his class. And then um, a kid from his baseball team is in his class. So he already knows like two of the kids. We found his seat where he's gonna be sitting, I took a picture of that. He's at a table with like four other, like three other kids, there's four of them total. He's right at the front of the classroom, so he has a good visual of everything. I'm sure they'll probably sit on the rug a lot, and I'm sure they'll probably move seats around too, but where he's at, it's a really good spot, and looks like he's gonna have a lot of fun. There were tons of kids coming and going the school. Um, we met the principal, she's super nice and they had um like transportation there if you had questions about buses i already got a call from his one bus driver the one that drops him off and he just like wanted to introduce himself i never heard from the morning bus driver but um i'm gonna take him to school tomorrow and then he'll ride the bus on monday but he'll ride the bus home tomorrow which he is super excited about they gave the kids these little name tags which i'll show you these little name tags they have like the kid's name on them and then on the back it has how they're getting home so i wrote the bus and then his bus number and then i put um our address and then my phone number just in case he gets lost or anything like that they were like oh attach it to the kid however you want to which i was kind of like you're not going to give me string so we didn't have like yarn the only string thing we had was this like twine so that's what i used so sorry grace you're gonna have to wear this of twine so he's got to wear it like tomorrow and then the whole first week so that everybody can get to know his name and then he can get home the right way so that's good um all that was well and then i ran home we didn't even have time he wanted to play on the playground we didn't even have time for that we ran home i dropped him off picked up avery and ran out of there and i picked up avery and we went to her head consultation which i took a couple of cups of that which i'm sure you saw basically they said that avery's head is severe <laughs> which i thought for sure she would just be moderate but apparently she's severe and she's got like two forms of they call it like plagiocephaly which is like she's got flat on the back but then also like flat on the side too so they definitely recommended the helmet for her they said it's gonna be nine to ten weeks of wearing the helmet they wear it for 23 out of 24 hours a day every day you do weekly appointments they monitor you they like take a skin of your head build a helmet customizable to you and then every week you go and they like customize it and basically they put pressure on the areas that are already round and perfect and leave room for the areas of the head that need to be rounded and perfected so it was a bummer to hear that she needs the helmet but it sounds like it's an easy fix i did ask like do does it hurt the babies do you notice that like babies are irritated by it and she said no um if anything a like the first couple days it takes them a while to adjust but um they've never had to stop treatment because a baby could not tolerate the helmet so that was good to hear. It does sound like it might be a little expensive depending on how much our insurance helps us out. So I'm hoping our insurance will cover a lot of this helmet because I mean, it does not sound cheap. And it's just a bummer we have to go through it, but it sounds like it'll only be about two to three months. So it'll be a short time in her life, but still annoying that she has to wear it. Also interesting enough, they told me these stats, one in every, one out of two babies, has some form of flat-headedness and then one out of every four babies has it severe or moderate enough that they actually need to do something about it and get it corrected so unfortunately for us that was avery she is going to have to wear the helmet so we have to wait they have to talk to our insurance get that all figured out and then we will get her fitted for the helmet and all that good stuff and 
start this journey. It's a bummer. Um, it's also a bummer because the there's only one place in all of Columbus that does helmets, and it's 25 minutes away in downtown Columbus, which is not close to us at all, but it's what we have to do. So we're just gonna have to fit that into our schedule. Yeah, basically that's why she has such a bulge. She's always had a bulge in the front of her head, and we thought, oh, that's kind of weird. And then they were like, oh, it's just the growth plates and things. Um, and then as time went on, her flatness in her head has showed up as well. And basically talking to the technician today, they told me that basically it started in utero most likely and how she was placed. She must have been really low in my pelvis and something was just like pushing up against the back of her head. And then she came out already with kind of a deformed head. And then of course you're supposed to put baby on their back. That's the safest way to sleep. But then that wasn't helping the situation because it was again, putting more pressure on the back of her head. And so basically how they were making it sound was she was predestined to have this issue it wasn't because I'm a bad mom and I kept her on the floor too long which I don't think I was but it is kind of like oh was it me could I have prevented this no it was basically it's just she it's just the way she was in the in my belly yeah it's a bummer but we're gonna get it fixed and she will have a perfect head they said um like looking at the scan you can tell that like half of her jaw and ear is like pushed forwards so, like her jaw isn't, isn't even like symmetrical so i wonder if that contributed to us having such hard problems with her taking the bottle i don't know all i know is avery has lots of issues all the time she's costing us lots of money <laughs> with our medical issues but it is what it is and we will fix it Lots of money. Lots of money. So now we are back. I just made dinner. I made a new recipe. Not sure if I'm going to like it or not, but it's like a stir fry. So it's like shaved steak, green beans, pepper, onions. And this is what it looks like here. I was supposed to put like um, lime juice in it. And I thought we had lime juice, but I guess we don't. So it might be a little dry, but we'll see. So that's what I made for dinner. We're just kind of winding down here. Porter wants to play a board game. Um, Anthony and Gray are, are playing chess. Grayson really wanted Anthony to teach him how to play chess. So Anthony is doing that right now. And then Porter and I are going to play Pete the Cat Pizza Pie game, which is a super easy, cute game we got from Santa this year. This is the game. And basically, you just like go around the board and collect uh, toppings to put on your pizza. The kids really like it. It's super fun and it's super easy. So Porter and I are going to play that and then we're just kind of winding down for the day and then tomorrow is the big day tomorrow. Grayson has his first day of school and he is so excited. I can't wait. I'm going to and Porter's going to go to preschool but not until September. Porter has about a month to go. He's very excited. He wants to go tomorrow too but I told him he has to wait a couple weeks. Um, Avery's napping. She had a long day. I have to wake her up in about a half hour. Yeah, we'll just go to bed and get ready for school tomorrow. It's exciting. You know, he's going to school. Um, he's only going one day this week. I think I already said that. They do like a slow phased in kindergarten. So it's going to feel like, yeah, he's at school. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, a long weekend. So kind of stinks but nothing we can do about it yeah he's starting that and then Grayson actually starts soccer practice on Saturday is his first soccer practice he's in like the big leagues now and so he actually has a practice once a week and a game once a week and his games are all over the place kind of like last year and Porter's games are already scheduled he goes 8 30 every Saturday so very early games not looking forward to that but that's all right he's very excited to play soccer I gotta pick up his uniform uh, this week I wait what day is today oh this is Wednesday next week I need to pick up his uniform and then Grayson's I think we get it at practice from his coach Oh my gosh, I can't even remember like what day it is. Ever since we got back from the cruise, I've been like, what day is it? What's going on? Like I've been so out of it. I don't know why. Thank goodness for calendars. <laughs> hopefully I stay on top of all this school stuff, especially with two different kids in two different schools. Because <laughs> I know for Porter's, it's going to be a lot of like, oh, wear this certain color shirt and show and tell. And Grayson's going to be the same thing. So I just got to make sure I keep them like on the right path. Avery, are you bouncing? She doesn't quite know what to think about it. What do you think? <gasps> bounce, bounce, bounce. Her feet like barely touch, not really. Bounce, 
Is it bounce? Uh, hey, for me. Oh, hello. Hello. Avery's playing. The boys are watching Doc McStuffins. We found this on Disney Plus. We're just winding down before bedtime. I gotta feed Avery some cereal. I've been feeding Avery um, baby cereal the past couple days, rice, and she's been hating it. The first two days she, well, so the first day she cried, I gave her a couple bites and then gave up. The second day she cried, but she ate the whole bowl. And then the third day she was liking it a little better, had success. Then yesterday was the fourth day, gave her some baby cereal, and she had one more bite to go, gave it to her, and then she gagged on it and puked up the whole cereal. So it's it's not been great with the baby cereal. She does not seem to like it or seem interested in it. So I just give her like one tablespoon of it every day. She's not a fan, although all of my kids really didn't seem to like the rice cereal. Once I switched it to the oatmeal, which I have that to do next, they seem to like the oatmeal flavor better. So hopefully she does better with the oatmeal. But yeah, she has not been liking the rice cereal. I've been taking little clips um, of the days. So I'll input that here for you guys. So I'm trying to feed Avery some baby cereal for the first time. But she's not really jazzing about it. What do you think? Let's try it. She's just tired. I might have to try again. Maybe it next. Maybe tomorrow I'll do it in the morning because she is not having it this evening. All right, day two of feeding Avery cereal, and it's going about as the same as yesterday. She, she does not like it. I don't know. The taste, or I keep doing it in the evening when she's fussy. But she's not happy. Avery is good. She has to spit it out. She's not happy. Not happy, baby. Yeah. But she's eating it. But she just cries a little. It's mostly breast milk, Avery. It's not bad. She does not like it. Okay, this is day like three or four with cereal. Avery, um, num num. Um, num num. She's doing better with it. It's still not her favorite, but she does eat it. I think she just doesn't like being in the car seat to eat it. I need to get out her clip on high chair. And Porter's playing with a creepy hand. Yeah, she did not, was not liking it. So we'll see how tonight goes. Mom, what? Thank you. What do you think? We gotta feed you some cereal. Hi there. Say hello. Hello. All it's right. The night before my kindergarten. It's the night before kindergarten, and we read this book. Look out, kindergarten! Here I come. Wow, that's the book I did to go to kindergarten. Yup, and tonight is the night, the last night of summer vacation. Tomorrow. 
starts kindergarten. What is Are you excited? That is awesome. What is one thing you're excited about kindergarten? My teacher, Mrs. Hubert. Your teacher. Yes, and my friends. What's one thing you want to learn about this year? All my stuff in my class. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, that's okay. So Gray got this um, card in the mail from his teacher today, and it said to put sprinkle this confetti under his pillow, and it'll help him sleep really good at night. So let's go put it under your pillow. Okay, I will do it. He's been begging um, me all day to put this confetti this under his pil pillow. This pillow or this pillow? Which one do you want? You pick. This pillow because it has the blue Okay, so lift it up. Cool. I can see this. Okay, and then you sprinkle the confetti under it. He's so excited. I'm going to do a balloon this year. Yeah, put in a couple, you just sprinkle it, open it upside down, and just put some confetti under there. What's confetti mean? You know what I mean. What's confetti? Take the bag and sprinkle it on, on your bed. Okay, I was. No, oh, there we go. All right, there, it's under your pillow, so now you'll sleep so good. <laughs> and your teacher's going to sprinkle some under her pillow, too. So I might give this to Allison. Oh, you want to save the rest of this for Allison? Yeah. Okay. We'll give it to her next time we see her, okay? No, I'm going to speak of someone under this pillow. Okay, go ahead. How are you? Look. <laughs> Open the confetti house. Some down. There you go. Now you'll sleep extra good. Plus extra me. Means really good. All right, it's time for bed, my kindergartner. I'll take the rest. You ready for bed? Yes. Sometimes I hate. Sometimes I will have to do it. Maybe under Porter's pillow. Maybe we'll put some under Porter's pillow the night before he starts preschool, huh? We'll keep it for him. Oh boy. Under All right. My left pillow is confetti. And yeah. under my right pillow is confetti. Yeah. Oh. All right. Time to get in bed so you can go to sleep so that tomorrow we'll come and you can go to Where's Grayson? Peekaboo. No. Okay. See, where is Grayson? Where's Grayson? That look over there. Huh? That look at me. Huh? Where did he go? Oh, there you are. All right. Hug attack. Ah, hug attack. Oh, gosh. All right. That's what Patty does. That's what who does? Patty. Patty? No, Pandy. Pandy? Yeah, Pandy did the hug attack to Gabby's. Oh, Gab in, in Gabby's dollhouse? Yes. What does he do? He says hug attack, apparently. Good night, Grayson. I love you. See you tomorrow for your first day of school. Not school. Yeah, school. No, it's kindergarten. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Love you.